What is tagging? Tagging is simply one way of categorizing content that you want to find again in the future. A lot of people are already familiar with using folders and subfolders to organize their files. Well, tagging is just a different way of accomplishing the same sort of thing. Folders and subfolders tend to work well if you have a well-structured way of organizing your files, whereas tags tend to work well when you don't. Let's look at an example using both folders and tags. Let's say I'm shopping for a new car and I've narrowed down my choices to three new cars and three used cars. First, let's see how I might use folders to organize my work. For each of the new cars I'm looking at, I want to see the information on the company website, I want to check out the reviews on edmunds.com, and I want to read the online forums. And for the used cars, I want to do pretty much the same thing, but I also want to organize the listings I find for cars that are for sale online. So I first create a directory structure to store the web pages, and then I can file away each page into the appropriate place. Here's the web page for the Edmunds review of the Ford Mustang. So I'll drag the web page into the subfolder for Ford Mustang under the folder for new cars. Now, Let's look at how we might organize this information using tags instead of by folders. Let's take this Edmunds page for the Ford Mustang and assign some tags to it. I'll assign the tags Ford Mustang and Edmunds by clicking on those tag names and you can see now that those tags have been assigned to this page. This is the same thing as physically putting a set of labels or sticky notes on the Edmunds review for the Ford Mustang. One of the benefits of organizing by tags instead of by folders is that you can assign multiple tags to an object and you don't have to think about creating an organizational structure beforehand or having to remember where you put something when you want to retrieve it. By using tags, the objects can be found by searching on any of the tags. So if I look under the tags for Ford Mustang, my Edmunds review is there. Or I can drill into the Edmunds tag under Ford Mustang or if I look just in the tag for Edmunds, I'll see all the Edmunds reviews. So here I get to see the Edmunds reviews for all of the cars, even though I didn't think to set it up this way. Let's say now I want to see the Infinity listings. I can drill into the Infinity tag, or if I want to see only the Infinity listings, I'll drill into the For Sale tag under Infinity. But let's say I want to see all the listings for all of the cars. You guessed it. I can drill into the For Sale tag and I see all of the cars. Since I didn't organize my folder structure that way, I can't easily do that with my folders. So sometimes folders provide a better approach to organizing than tags, and sometimes tags work better. If you have a rigid organizational structure, you might want to use folders. If you're saving and organizing things in sort of an ad hoc manner, then tags might work best. And sometimes you might want to organize your files using both tags and folders. Some systems now support both methods of organizing your data. So thank you very much for watching our video on tagging. We hope it was helpful.